now I'll explain, we'll uh, see the how to factorize the cubic polynomials. So, uh, suppose if we have this polynomial, P of x, that is x equal to x cubed minus 23x squared plus 142x minus 120. Now, uh, we have to find out, since it is a cubic polynomial, there are three factors of it. Uh, so, by trial method, we'll find out the first factor of this. By trial method, we'll uh, see, uh, we'll put different values like 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4. We'll put uh, different values here and we'll see at, at what value it becomes 0. Now we'll see, first we'll put 1. So it is 1 cube, 23, 1x squared, 142, 1, minus 120. Now, so this is 1, minus 23, plus 142 minus 120. This is minus 22 and uh, 142 minus 120 uh, minus 122 will give me 22. So this is equal to 0. So here uh, we have seen that when we are placing the value of 1 in this equation, in the polynomial equation, we are getting it equal to 0. So we say therefore x minus 1 is a x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial, is a factor of the given polynomial, p of x. Now, uh, we have found the first factor, since it is a cubic polynomial, we need to find two more factors. So, uh, this, by trial method, we'll find out the first factor. Now, we'll, there are two methods to find out the other two, uh, other two factors, that is one is uh, by synthetic division. Uh, we'll see how the synthetic division works. So we have seen that first x minus 1 is a factor, is one factor. Now uh, by synthetic division, we'll find out the other factor. So uh, we'll put all the coefficients here. So it is 1 minus 23 plus 142 and minus 120. Now, since uh, we know that x minus 1 is a factor, so uh, when we had put the value of 1 in this equation, then we had got 0. Now, putting value of 1 here and putting 0 here, adding these two numbers, we get 1. 1 ones are 1. Then this is minus 22. Minus 22 into 1 will give, you, uh, will give me minus 22. So, this gives 120. Adding these two numbers gives me 120. Now 120 into 1 gives me plus 120. So I get 0. So if we get 0 at the last, then it is the synthetic division is correct. Now we have got the coefficients of the quadratic equation. The standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is the standard form of the quadratic equations where a, b and a and b are the coefficients of x square and x respectively and c is a constant. So from this we can frame the uh, quadratic equation because we have got the coefficients of the quadratic equation. So this is x square minus 22x plus 120. This is our quadratic polynomial. So uh, we have got a quadratic polynomial here by using synthetic division. Now there are two methods. Uh, now simply uh, by splitting the middle term method, we can uh, solve this. Uh, we can solve this quadratic equation, and we can find out the other two factors. So the quadratic equation which we have got that is p of x equal to x square minus 22x plus 120. Now by splitting the middle term method, so uh, we'll find out the factors p and q, and we'll see if we multiply 120 into 1, then we should get 120 and then p plus q that is equal to the coefficient of x that is minus 22. So we need to find two numbers. If we multiply them, we should get 120 and if we add or subtract them, then we should get 22. So uh, taking the two numbers as minus 12 and minus 10. If we add these two numbers, we get minus 22. If we multiply these two numbers, we get 
120 because minus minus will become plus. So uh, we'll split this term x squared minus 12x minus 10x. So 120. So this minus 12x and minus 10x will give me mi uh, minus 22x. So now taking out the commons from here, x. So we are left with x minus 12. From here we'll take 10 common. So I'm left with x minus 12 inside here. So I have two factors. One is x minus 10 and another is x minus 12. So these are the two factors. Another two factors which I've got. So in total we, uh, we have got all the three factors. One is x minus 1. Another is x minus 10. And the third factor is x minus 12. So these are the three factors which we have got for the cubic polynomial equation. Now you can solve the exercise questions, uh, which four questions are given in the exercise. So the same method you can apply and solve all the cubic equations. And uh, any doubts you can approach me.